Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to curl your hair in like those tight spirals. Um, it's also kind of Taylor Swift's kind of curls. Um, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, so first of all, what you're going to need is your curling iron. And this is actually ready, so I'm going to try and move quickly. Um, this is a really small um, barrel. And I know some people use the um, Conair Infinity Wand that has no clamp, but you can use that. But if you don't want to go out and buy that and you just have a small curler like this, you can use it because it does have a clamp, but I'm not going to be using the clamp. So you just want a small barrel, and it's actually by cheap. That was upside down, but, um, but you don't, it doesn't have to be like this. Um, it's kind of weird how they made it, but I'm not using the clamp or anything. I'm just using the barrel. Okay, I'm going to take my hair down. I'm going to take my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And I'm going to spray this all in my hair. You want a pretty nice amount because we're putting quite a bit of heat on. Okay, after you have sprayed a nice amount of the heat protectant that you're using into your hair, or even if it's, it's not a spray, if you put your heat protectant in, brush through your hair, and this is going to get that heat protectant all throughout your hair, and also for the spray that I'm using, that Tresemme, it helps it dry quicker. Okay, after you have brushed and put in your um, heat protectant, and sorry, my hair is like poofy because I washed it earlier and I kind of blow dried it to get it dry quicker. Okay, right by my ears, I'm going to section my hair off and I'm going to part it right by my ears. Make sure you have a clip ready so you can clip this hair up. Clip that out of the way. Okay, so I've got about that much hair here, and with this, you need small sections. You're not going big or anything because that's going in small sections gets you that tight spiral. So, what you're going to do, make sure your um, curling iron is on and it's heated up. I'm going to take a section about this big. Um, now, some pieces I might take bigger sections, sometimes I might, I might take this. Um, I might take a piece this size, or maybe even smaller or bigger. It really just depends. Okay, so you're going to take your curling iron, and you're going to take it to the back of your head. You're going to take this, and you're going to wrap around it with your hand. Like that. Let it go. And then I'm going to hold it in my hand just to let it cool down. And when it cools down in your hand, it keeps its form. Instead of when it's hanging down, it may lose its um, curl. Take it down, and there you have a curl. Um, and the bottom layer isn't too important because, I mean, it is important, but it's not as important as your top layer because you don't really see it. But um, that's why I take a, few, a little bigger sections. And you're just going to do that again. And this is actually a pretty large section I took. You're going to hold it. Let it go. Hold it in your hand. I don't always hold them in my hand because I get lazy, but it's better if you do. And there you go. And um, I'm just going to finish doing this bottom section. Then I'm going to take another section out. It's going to be fairly small. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And when I'm getting closer to the end, I will come back to you guys. Okay, so I have um, taken two more layers down, and I've curled them. And I forgot to tell you this when I was doing that first part, but um, when you are finished doing a layer, before you let down any hair, make sure you spray with hairspray. And I'm using Garnier Fructis's, um Flexible Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And um, I've actually just sprayed that on my hair now. And you can see just these nice um, tight spirals. And as you um, get more layers down, it comes together and looks much better. So I'm going to take another layer down, and I'll show you how thick a layer I go. So, letting it down, I'm going to take about that much hair down. It's like... You see, I take about that much down in like thick thickness. And I just take it all down. 
and I'm just going to be doing that same thing. And when you um, go to the other side, you just kind of swap hands with the curler. So you take it this side and then you wrap it around. Um, I forgot to tell you that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take a piece of hair, take it from my curler behind, and wrap it around. And be very careful when you're wrapping it because you can easily, easily burn your hand. If you're pretty like clumsy with it, definitely suggest um, putting a glove on, um, a heat protecting glove, and do that. Um, because y the first time I did this, I burnt myself like five times and it, it hurt. <laughs> okay, there you go. And, be and if you have longer hair, um, it's going to look better. I have short hair, so... So again, I'm just going to keep taking layers down like that and curling all of them like this. And on the final layer, I will come back to you guys. Okay, so I'm on my final layer. I have finished curling all the rest of it. And I've hairsprayed everything. So I'm going to take my final layer down. Um, I'm just really going to quickly going to take my little bow clip, take my bangs and clip them to the other side. Because I will um, deal with them later. So take a section of hair like we've been doing. Put a piece like this, your curling iron, wrap it around, hold it, let go, and there it is. Okay, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to finish doing my hair, hairspray, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished curling my hair, and this is it, curling it, and sometimes your curls can get frizzy, or you can get a bunch of frizz all over, and that's not nice. So, um, what you can do is take an anti-humidity product, or like a frizz product, put that in your hair, and that should help reduce the frizz. Um, what I'm going to use is Tresemme's um, No Frizz Ultralight Shine Spray. Now, I have not tried this on curls, so I'm not 100% positive how well it works. Um, but hopefully it works well. Okay, so just spray this in your hair, um, or any, um, frizz product you want. Um, I'm not going to spray it in my hair quite yet because I don't really need it right now, but a little later, um, it's probably going to be a little frizzier, so I'm just going to spray this in later. Make sure you turn your curler off. <laughs> um, I always turn my curler off. I don't know why I told you guys, but just make sure you do. So I'm going to do one last spin around, and then I will be ending the video, so... 
those are them. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you try out these awesome spiral, um, really super bouncy, um, super duper amazing curls. <laughs> I, I like really, really like these curls. They're like my favorites. Um, so yes, I hope you guys try them out. Please comment, like this video, subscribe, request any videos you want me to make, and I'll try and make them. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.